the greatest trend in law enforcement today. That trend comes on four legs. Liberty is working in Concord. She's a, a great community policing tool, and she's been to all of the schools, she's been to senior centers, and she's really a local celebrity right now in, in the city of Concord. These dogs can obviously come in all different shapes and sizes, but one thing they have in common, they can all help ease a tense situation. Lieutenant William Gordon from Greenfield, Massachusetts, has been to many of those situations, including the shootings at Sandy Hook in Las Vegas. He has seen the dog's ability to heal firsthand. When they see the dog, they start smiling, and it's usually the first time that they've smiled for three or four days. Franklin has had a dog for almost a year, and according to the police chief, the dog has literally been a lifesaver. We've been able to help young people especially uh, get through some very trying times, some potentially fatal times or deadly times. The training of the animals differs depending on whether or not they function as comfort or therapy dogs. Oliver is a rescue dog from Mississippi, trained as a therapy dog. Sergeant Picard says he's invaluable, for example, in interacting with children with autism. We had a child that was uh, freaking out. He didn't want to get into the ambulance, didn't want to go anywhere. I brought Oliver up there, got, got, like, got down with them, and very happy, and just helped him get into the ambulance and go home. And her advice for departments considering adding a dog? It'll be a world of difference for your community. In Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.